guys back again for another review big tom damien today we're going to be doing the newal newal <laughs> the vaping donkey <laughs> yep now the vaping donkey the newal is actually a mesoamerican folk religion word for a, a man who can shape shift um, basically into a dog a yeah. donkey or a turkey, turkey. <laughs> that is what a newal is which is a fantastic name but uh tom has given this one the vaping donkey name <laughs> Um, I like turkey, you know, imagine that at Christmas dinner when you're cutting into your turkey for wool. <laughs> is this on the wall? Um, yeah, this is made by a guy called Julio Urquidez, who's a, um, actually, for a living, he makes surgical implements, he makes surgical syringes, uh, does a lot of stuff for plastic surgeons. Um, and he has made this atomizer, and it's a fantastically machined, genetist-style atomizer. Um, it has one post as well, the positive and negative are connected to one post, so uh, you can get your wick quite quite close it's all quite close together in that top cap and it's a really great design it vapes amazingly it's not one of those Genesis style atomizers that you're going to be screaming through the house because you can't get rid of a fucking hotspot um, it's it's really well made um, another piece of rocking horse shit here uh, this is another one of them atomizers that uh, this is probably the closest a lot of you are ever going to get to see it um, we were sent this again by our friend Lee Adler he had one um, said would you like to take a look at it possibly give it a review and try one I obviously bit his fucking arm off at the elbow and uh, here it is vaping away at it now I'm not a huge fan of Gen Genesis style atomizers I'm not I just don't get on with mesh that often I do like my silica I do like a bit of cotton I'm one of them sort of Nancy boys um, but uh, to tell the honest truth, I got on really well with this, wicking it. Um, it's it's a very simple, simple uh, Genesis style atomizer to do. It's and that that's what makes it so great about it. You know, you have your you have your fill hole on one side, you have your uh, wick hole on the other side, which is very close to the one post in the centre. You just put your wick in there, and uh, jobs are good. And a couple of little movements of your coil, and you are banging absolutely. Um, I do like the engraving on the front. It's really quite street. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You get me. Allow it, bruv. The wall hall is uh, printed on there really quite nicely. I think that's etched on there, and it looks like graffiti, uh, which is really nice. Um, this one comes in a brushed finish, the one we've got off Lee. I do think that on a few of the uh, earlier ones, you could also get a polished finish as well. It does have one air hole, another one mil air hole, but I think there was options on the list on Vape Pit when these were made available yeah. they're not being made anymore so you know um, to have two air holes put in so you could have two mil which for me would have been better but once again this is not mine I'm not about to go and get the fucking drill out um, you know <laughs> I, might. He won't. I won't let him leave do you know what I mean I, I know um, <laughs> I do know, uh, recently I've been informed that Urquidez is making a 22mm kind of version of the Newall, so they will be made available, but only if you are a member of Vape Pit, I believe. If you are not a member, then you are shit out of luck, like us two fuckers here. Never mind, you know, life goes on. Um, <laughs> what we'll do now is we're going to go down to the table, I'm going to show you it, uh, I'll show you the insides, I'll take off the top cap, I'll put a wick on for you, and uh, then we'll come back and give you our scores. Newall. <laughs> So here you have your Norl Genesis style atomizer uh, from Urquidez there. Lovely brushed finish, 16 mil diameter. Uh, we have a one mil air hole in the top cap there. And the Norl engraving on the bottom there, which is a bit like graffiti, which is really nice. Uh, you have a brass post at the bottom. And yeah, uh, we'll take off the top cap. And you can see we're greeted by this just one post here. We have the uh, positive connections at the top, which are separated by a, a Delrin insulator here. And then we have the negative post, uh, the ground post at the bottom here. Um, we have the wick hole at the side. And then on the opposite side, you have your fill hole with a stopper there to uh, keep in your juice. Let's take this out. In, inside here is your tank, um, which holds probably about three, three and a half mil of juice. And yeah, it's really nice. Now, uh, in order to clean this, we need to basically take the uh, posts out. So uh, you remove your top nut. Keep that nice and safe. Remove this next nut now. And here you have your uh, Delrin insulator, which you have to pull out. 
nice and gently like so take off your uh, negative nut take out your post and then unscrew your tank section here which is held in by uh, threads and an o-ring at the top so and there you go and that's how you would get into uh, clean it right let's put this back together and uh, have a wick put my post back in place the insulator in like so This positive uh, nut actually goes over the top of the Delrin, like so. And then we have your final post. Okay, lovely. What I've got here is I've got some 400 mesh with uh, three wraps of 0.2 canthor wire just for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the wick in like so. Slides in nice and easy. Then I'm going to wrap the first piece of canthor underneath the negative screw like so. If I can see, here we are. And just with your thumbs, you just turn the screw, turn the nut and trap that down. And then we're going to do the same at the top. Turn that and lock that down. I'm going to put it on my uh, piccolo here and give it a pulse. There we go, lighting up a tree, little hot spot at the top. Just give that a slight bit of movement. There we go, it's as simple as that. Now we just need to put some juice in the uh, fill hole like so, which I'm not going to do right now because I've got to send this back to Lee. But you put your juice in there, you trim your wicks, put your juice in, put your fill stopper in, put your top cap back on, and off you go. And there you have your Noal Noal Genesis Atomizer from Urkades. Really simple. Lovely. All right, guys, after looking at the vaping dairy Lee cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy enough set up we hate genesis now we get along with this one this one is pretty cool yeah um i don't hate genesis i just got sick and tired of them for a little bit <laughs> Fuck it, back to back. you know silicon and all that is so much easier and i prefer the flavor in all honesty um sometimes you get that meshy sort of taste that sort of spicy taste down the back of your throat that i can't fucking stand um do you know what i mean um yeah so it's, it's a beautiful looking device. I love the fact that it's got that one post um, positive and negative together. Um, it's a 16 mil, so it looks really nice on a piccolo, like I've got it here, um, or a little nemi, a skinny nemi <laughs> also suits it. Um, you know, I'd love the engraving. I do like the name, the Noir. It's, uh, that's pretty sexy. Um, you know, it is a shame uh, about the one mil air hole. You know, that is a drawback on this particular one. But like I said, there were customised options made on the list when you were available to get one. And that is my second drawback on it. You can't fucking get one. <laughs> What's the fucking point? Do you know what I mean? There's me giving this a review, showing you how great it is, telling you how wonderful it is, and that's it. <laughs> Keep on fucking dreaming, people. You know, I'm just, I've got to send this back as well. It's like, <laughs> you know, I'll be at the post office. Any juice or batteries? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Fucking sending it off, running after the Royal Mail van. Please! <laughs> I want my Noir, I want my donkey back. 
Uh, but there you go. You know, it is a bugger because, you know, in this vaping world, we should all get to try a little few bits and pieces. But once again, the modder may have reasons for not being able to completely mass produce these things. These are made mm. by single people, you know, who are machine them by themselves, like this one. And uh, obviously, because he makes surgical instruments, Mr. Urquidez, he's probably busy making women look beautiful all around the world. <laughs> so he ain't got fucking time for Damo. <laughs> If you watch this, Urquidez, there's... Damo, just, just one. Just, just one for me. Fuck everybody else. Just one for me. Um, yeah, it is stunning. Uh, probably a lot of you have seen pictures of, of it. Um, a lot of you have probably read a few bits on it. It's hard to find information on this, actually. Mm. I've been doing some research. I can only find uh, one video of some American dude who talks all the way just by one picture of the wall like that and just talks all the way through the video. You know? <laughs> and then at the end, he vapes it. So, you know, I couldn't find out too much apart from who Urquidez was. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's it's beautiful, and that's probably why I asked so hard to get. Maybe I think it's beautiful because it is so hard to get. I don't know. I wouldn't remortgage my house for it, but I might sell a child. <laughs> I've got a few left. Uh, but yeah, scores, looks-wise, for a 16 mil Genesis atomizer, it is top draw. I'm going to give it, for me, personal preference, a fucking 10 out of 10, mm. especially with the street and the wall graffiti on it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You get me. Um, the, the top cap is lovely, held in by an O-ring. I maybe would have liked it if it was a little bit threaded, but so what? I'm a fussy prick, you know? Um, I do love the single positive and negative post. I do like the little fill hole that you've put in, and it's got a little stopper in there that's really nice, so you can sort of, like, have it lean it or put it down for a second, and it won't just piss out. Um... Yeah, the whole the whole device is is, is is smashing. It's classy, isn't it? Yeah, it's very classy. It's uh, very classy, and it looks really nice on a piccolo like that with the brush finish. So uh, yeah, you know the vape on it is really nice. The flavour is lovely. You would you would you know not necessarily think this was Genesis by the flavour on it. It's mm. really nice. You know, it's got that lovely sort of deep sort of flavour. Um, really quite impressed. Rather than dirty light. <laughs> yeah, rather than tasting like stainless steel. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's really nice. You can't knock it, but once again, you can't fucking get one anyway. So, have a look. <laughs> and that's all you get. All right? Thank you very much for watching this review, and we will see you on hopefully a product that you'll be able to get. <laughs> you will eat his bastard. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, we will see you on the next one. Stay safe. Bye.